Hello and welcome. I'm Tavleen from Build Woo Funds, and in this video, we're talking about your e-commerce marketing strategy. So that one underestimated or one underdog marketing strategy that literally no one talks about. Well, so when you look at uh, you know most. Uh, blogs or most videos out there about e-commerce marketing strategies well, they will tell you to make your product descriptions more persuasive to optimize your product pages uh, uh, you know for more for better search results so on and so forth and yes they are not wrong but there is one strategy that literally no one touches upon which also solves one of your biggest problems which is 80 percent of buyers of an e-commerce store are one and done customers so well you spend a bunch, a bunch of money on acquiring them through ads or through uh, search results results and you also offer them free discounts free shipping and whatnot just to make sure they make their first purchase and when they do they do not make their second or third purchase from your store and that right there is the biggest problem the solution to it is having a win back campaign or a win back strategy in place which converts them back into second or third time buyers well so basically a win back campaign is uh, you know one email or a series of emails that make a very persuasive attempt to bring that customer back and to turn them into repeat buyers now stats reveal that 45 percent of people who open your win back campaign are also likely to open future emails coming from you so yes in a way it is actually a strategy to rekindle your bond your relationship with your customer so in this video we look at uh, you know why you need to make win back a part of your market uh, strategy uh, then I will give you some incredibly persuasive examples of win back emails we'll also look at win back emails done wrong and I will share with you the elements or the anatomy of a well written win back email finally I will show you how to set it up so that it rolls out on autopilot also that is what is in lined up for this video grab a cup of coffee because well it's gonna be a little long one but Yes, you must, must, um, you know, hear me out. You must um, make it a part of your strategy. So let's get started. All right. So now let's discuss, uh, you know, the win back campaigns, the underdog marketing strategy for e-commerce store owners. So starting with why customers actually become inactive. Why do they stop buying? A great question. Let's answer this with four points. Number one, they found a competitor. Yes. So in this fiercely competitive environment, it is highly likely that if they've stopped buying from you. They're probably buying from a competitor who is maybe undercutting you in price or maybe is reaching out more and nudging them more they simply moved on um, that could be a case well they've just moved on there really is no specific reason that they can point out but um, uh, they've moved on to buying from someone else or they moved on uh, maybe they're not using that product or they've upgraded themselves it could be any of those reasons number three the products fulfill desire and not needs so which means maybe they cut corners they cut their budget and they've thrown that item out of their uh, usage or maybe they've started buying offline now let's look at what uh, you know win back email done right so here's an example of a win back email which is not just well written and persuasive but also does the job well so there you go so it's from a bakerista and well they say what happened we miss you you haven't stopped by in a while we hope you haven't forgotten about us because we're still thinking of you and then they offer a discount of 25 percent on the next order so a really well-written win back email and it also offers them an incentive to convert into a second or a third time buyer well, now let's look at a win back email done wrong well so here is an example of a win back email it's basically a you know a regular promotional email which is camouflaged as a win back email so there is no context setting there is no conversation it just starts off by saying hey stranger don't let this coupon go off waste 20 percent off orders of 50 dollars or more use this coupon code shop now these are our top brands blah 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 so on and so forth so of course there is no conversation here there is no acknowledgement acknowledgement of the fact that you know they haven't shopped for a while and then the store genuinely cares about them and wants them back as customers 
Well, now let's look at the five elements of a well-written win-back campaign that's highly effective. Number one, you have the timing of your campaign, which is the period of inactivity. Whether you should consider three months to be a period of inactivity uh, or uh, six months to send a win-back campaign. Then you have a catchy subject line, which grabs their attention in the cluttered inbox. Then you have recognizable from lines. So since they haven't been buying from the emails that you've been sending, it makes sense to not just uh, have your brand name in the from line, but your name as well, or maybe customer support head at the brand name. After that, you have a short and meaningful conversation, which means that you really want to, uh, you know, not have long paragraphs, neither something that's too short, uh, that it doesn't establish the context. So it should be of the right length. And also it should be very conversational. Finally, a strong incentive uh, well, so that they feel an incessant urge to go back and buy from your store. Now, let's look at each of these elements in detail. Well, now the first component is the timing of your campaign. Now, it really depends on what you're selling and what you consider to be the period of inactivity. So, for example, if you're selling something like, uh, you know, daily goods and accessories, which they need in their everyday life, you may consider inactivity to be a period of three months of not having purchased from your store. So, based on what you sell, well, you can um, sort of define that period. And let me show you how you can do that. Well, so if you're a WooCommerce store owner, I would highly recommend that you use Autonomy, which is WordPress um, marketing automation engine that allows you to run automated campaigns uh, using certain behavior-backed triggers or events that occur on the website. So if a customer hasn't purchased in a time period, well, you can run a win-back automation on those customers. Here's how you do it. So this is where you go and select event and you say customer win-back under WooCommerce. And well, this is where you define uh, the period of inactivity. So for example, if the customer last ordered period, so they bought 90 days over and under, um, you know, let's say 180 days, uh, which means, well, they did buy six months back, but they haven't bought in the last three months. So which is our period of inactivity? And if for you, it's, uh, you know, six months, well, then you can say, well, they did not buy, um, they haven't bought in, in, in the past six months, uh, you know, for six months, they have been inactive, but yes, uh, they did buy maybe a year ago, right? So that could be your period of inactivity. So run once per customer for the selected period, schedule this automation to run every day at, and well, you can set the time here. So, you know, based on what you said, set maybe 12 uh, noon every day, this campaign will run and it will run once per customer for the selected period, right? So that's the way for defining the timing. So again, look at your products, look at your strategy and find out the right period of inactivity for your store. Well, so once you have done that, you can save it. And uh, well, then you have the option to, uh, you know, do a direct action. So you could straight away send out an email here. You could even add a tag on them in your CRM. And Alternatively, you can also set up a conditional action. So you can say that, you know, if um, if it's only their first order, I want to run a win back campaign or if the customer total spend is greater than or equal to $100, then I want to run a win back campaign, right? So you could do all of that as a guest user, customers past purchase products contain and then you can enter the specific uh, products uh, which they have purchased in the past. So you have all all these conditions that you can use to run your win back campaign in that case they will not run on all uh, on all uh, the customers who buy from your store but on set customers based on the conditions that you set over here well the second pillar of the second component is catchy subject line so here are three subject lines which have astounding open rates well this is as per a study published by clavio.com and they found that it's been a while actually had the highest open rate at 35%, which is pretty impressive. Other subject lines like we miss you, discount included, actually performed really good as well. Here are some catchy subject lines that we recommend. Where have you been? First name. So that's a personalized subject line. Just checking in all okay. Frankly, we're thinking of you. Not sure what's been keeping you busy off the radar. What's up? First name, here's a little gift for you. And finally, it's been a while. You'll notice that uh, they're pretty friendly. So none of them are, uh, you know, uh, robotic or uh, creepy. 
Now, next is authoritative from line. So that's pillar number three. Now here, well, what you can do is that if you've been sending emails from your brand name alone, so just the name for your brand it comes in the from line, then I would suggest that you actually put your own name uh, from the brand name. So like uh, Mike from Organifi or Mike at Organifi. Uh, short and meaningful conversation. Well, so here you, you want to do two things. Number one is acknowledge that they have been absent for a while. Find, and secondly, tell them what they are missing. So give them a very, very solid reason to come back. So here's a brilliant example, which we absolutely love. It's from Skillshare. It starts off by saying, we've missed you. It's been a while since you've been a Skillshare premium user. Since your last visit, we've added hundreds of classes and brand new features we think you'll love. For a limited time, we're giving you an exclusive offer. Come back to Skillshare premium and get your first month at just $0.99. Hurry, this offer ends soon. So, well, that's, uh, you know, an incredibly uh, meaningful and a short conversation there. And, uh, you know, it just starts off by saying that we know, you know, we, we acknowledge uh, that you've not been, uh, uh, you've not been a customer in a while now and um, this is uh, these are some of the improvements or changes that we've made while you were away and uh, well it makes absolute sense to go ahead and check them out uh, then a, f a fifth is you have a strong incentive that's pillar number five or element number five here you want to offer them personalized and a time-bound coupon code uh, a personalized coupon code makes a hell lot of sense i'll just show you how to set it up but before that here's an interesting stat 82.4 percent of people stick to a brand that offers consistent deals that's a really big number so yes offering consistent deals absolutely works in your favor so let me now show you how you can set up a win back campaign with a personalized and a time bound coupon code all right so here you go we're back in the interface so this is send email and uh, well we could just say it's been a while and uh, dear here we're going to use a merge tag and we're going to say first name customer first name copy to clipboard so dear first name it's been a while since you last shopped at organic fix or whatever is the name of your store And then, uh, well, uh, then you need a coupon code. Okay, so here's what you're going to do. You're going to hit save. And right before this, before you send email, uh, you're going to say, um, add action, choose action, and your action will be create coupon. And then you're going to select, uh, uh, you know, a coupon uh, which you've already created in WooCommerce. So here's just a sample coupon code that we've created and come back is the new name for it uh, we so now you're going to next personalize this coupon code go to merge tags and then just search for uh, customer first name and there you go we've got it copy to clipboard and we go here uh, we've set the expiry to three days uh, right restrict coupon with username and perform this action immediately so save it and then you go to send email and well this is where uh, you're gonna get the coupon code so here so that is uh, you know the new coupon code name you're gonna go over here and then you're gonna paste this so use this exclusive uh, coupon code at the checkout to get 15% off there you go thank you and that's it so well this becomes your uh, your email you could set a delay if you like you could uh, you know after set a delay of let's say delay it until specific time of the day or day of the week so let's say you know you, you know that your customers normally read and respond to emails on saturdays so you could uh, just uh, you know like delay it until a saturday and uh, once they are part of the win back cohort uh, uh, autonomy will wait until saturday to send this email out but in addition to that, you can also build in an element of urgency into your email. So you could probably say, so this coupon is only valid for the next three days. 
go and make the most of it. Well, so there you go. So that was all about the underdog e-commerce marketing strategy that is win back campaigns. We used autonomy by Wilt Wu Funnels to set up your win back campaign. Well, it's an extremely powerful automation engine for WordPress and WooCommerce that allows you to run triggered campaigns based on the events that occur on your website. So while we looked at win back in detail, there are so many more events which I have explored in other videos. There are more links in the description box below also explore more about autonomy and read the full post uh, all the links are in the description box below do not forget to hit like and subscribe and comment below if you have any questions thank you so much for watching i hope you enjoyed this video i'm tavleen and i will see you in my next video